After plucking up the courage to discredit evidence of Dave King's offshore investment at Ibrix, Mark Daly faces a new challenge to his investigative credibility. Last Monday Daly fronted a BBC Scotland report that Irish businessman Dermot Desmond was listed in the Paradise Papers regarding a company in Switzerland. Appealing to public interest BBC Scotland questioned Desmond outside of Celtic Park with the Scottish champions linked to the matter at every opportunity. Douglas Fraser, the BBC's business and economic editor in Scotland, later deleted a tweet when he mentioned Celtic in connection with the Paradise Papers. There has been a furious backlash to the report on social media with many fans highlighting the double standards of the state broadcaster who have still to comment on Sevco's annual accounts which reported a £6.7 million loss on a £29.2 million turnover. The Barkaboy Twitter account challenged two intrepid BBC reporters to look into the offshore investment keeping Sevco afloat but Daly's sneering reply was to discredit an anonymous source despite over 70,000 interactions on social media. Providing more evidence for the state broadcaster to investigate the same account last night tweeted Rangers fans who are saying there is no proof that Dave King's new Oasis asset is an offshore tax haven registered company are wrong egg and here is the proof picked out twitter.com for date x vwwo. Barkaboy at Barkaboy 1 November 14, 2017 Despite Michael Ball tweeting that he is waiting on a reply from the SFA and PFA Scotland and two questions over his transfer from Rangers Ill to PSV and Hover BBC Scotland have yet to cover the issue.